What's up guys and welcome to yet another 40 facts on the armory and war gear of the 40k universe. This time we are going to the Imperium and we are looking into the vaults of the Salamanders. Now they don't have too many Salamander specific weaponry so I'll just give you the main, I guess the main load of it. So without further ado, let's dive into this lore. Starting with the artifacts of Vulcan, we have the Eye of Vulcan, which is a system of space-bound defense lasers that orbit and protect Prometheus. It is one of the seven artifacts. The Chalice of Fire is also an artifact of Vulcan and is a forge ship that has manufactured many of the Salamander's weapons. Kisara's Mantle is a strong and legendary Drake scale cloak which protects the wearer from fire and other small arms. Gauntlet of the Forge is an armored gauntlet capable of shooting flames. The Spear of Vulcan is a relic spear that burns white with such heat that it can melt almost any substance. The Unbound Flame is stated to be the Coffin of Vulcan. The Engine of Woe the Obsidian Chariot and the Song of Entropy are four artifacts that remain to be found, and as of currently, no one knows exactly what these artifacts are. The Mantle of Ash is artificial armor worn by the Pyroclasts. It is made of plates fashioned with flakes of obsidian crystals which are found on the volcanoes of Nocturne. This armor is heavily resistant to flame weaponry. The Iron Dragon is a unique ironclad dreadnought believed to be built by Vulcan himself. It is unusually powered through the use of a thermo generator and is heavily armored. The Salamander's Mantle is a cloak made from the Salamander's hide which resides on Nocturne. This cloak is worn by high ranking officials and is resistant against fire. The Draken Scale is the suit of power armor worn by Vulcan. It resists all flame weaponry, and its gauntlets come equipped with flamers. It is a jewel in the eyes of the Imperium. The Wrath of Prometheus is a relic bulger which was built during the Heavenfall Massacre. Surtur's Breath is a modified flamer that shoots at an extended range with ultraviolet flames. The additional equipment required to store and spray the propellant adds a lot of weight to this weapon. Stormbearer is the personal hammer of the chapter master Tushan. This hammer is said to be made of the same metal as that of Vulcan's weapon, the Thunderhead. Nocturne Ultima is a bolt gun pattern used by the Salamanders. The Pyroclast Flame Projector is a unique and complex flame weapon created by Vulcan. Pyroclasts wield this weapon to incinerate a swarm of enemies or focus the flame to sear through tough armor. Dawnbringer is a warhammer so massive only a Primarch can wield it. It is the personal weapon of Vulcan and was considered indestructible. Dawnbringer was originally going to be a gift to Horus upon becoming Warmaster, but Vulcan sensed a darkness deep within him and decided not to give it away. This hammer has taken countless traitor lives during the battle at Isvan Massacre. The Drake Smiter is a relic of the Salamander's Legion. This weapon is capable of shattering the skulls of a Void Dragon in one blow. Promethean's Blessing is a weapon upgrade that uses excess power generated from the motor of a chainsword or axe and projects flames along the weapon's edge. The Psychic Powers of the Salamanders Fury of the Salamander The Librarian summons flames in the shape of a massive drake that twists and writhes until the enemy is reduced to dust and ash. Vulcan's Anvil is the Librarian draws upon the powers of the warp to strengthen his body and armor. In this state, very little damage can be done to him. Nocturne's Fire Librarians are reluctant to use this power unless absolutely necessary mainly because it is difficult to control. The area around the Librarian is engulfed in a raging inferno that incinerates anybody unfortunate enough to be caught in its path. Heat of the Furnace The Librarian is engulfed in an aura of flame. Its physical attacks cause flesh to burn and simply standing near him 
causes blisters to form. And as quickly as it started, it is now over. We have seen all the unique war gear, armor, weaponry, and psychic powers of the salamanders. Now for next week, I want you guys to let me know in the comments below what you want to see next time. And I will tally them up and give you the most requested answer. That's all I got for you today. And as always, I have been the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, signing out.